gang. Bob Boving here with The Mystery Project and this week's episode of Peggy Delaney, written by James W. Nichol. It's every parent's worst fear. Her daughter has mysteriously disappeared, and the search for Amber uncovers some other things, none of them good. Kyra Harper stars as Peggy Delaney in Getting the Message. Hello there. You've reached Peggy Delaney, Toronto Tribune. If you have something confidential you want to pass on, just leave your name and number. The walls have ears. I'll get back to you. If you're calling to give me fulsome, unqualified praise for my columns, feel free now. If you're calling to scream at me, fascist, communist, cop-loving, cop-hating, pro-lesbian, anti-lesbian, pretend anti-establishment, crypto Bay Street swamp pig, go for it. After all, this is a quasi-democracy. Hi, Sammy. What's the trouble? Haven't you had your supper yet? Amber, hi, I'm home. Amber? Amber! Well, no wonder you're hungry. Amber! Where is she? Hello? Uh, hi, uh, this is... Uh-huh. Sorry. Hi. Is Amber there? No. Oh. Do you know where she is? Um, no. I just got home. It's after 7.30. Uh, so I, I was just wondering. I saw her right after school, but I haven't seen her since. Well, she hasn't left a message on my service or anything. Uh, usually she's so good at letting me know what she's doing and where she is. That's all. Look, I could call some of the kids we hang with. See if she's with them, if you like. Yeah, I'd like. That would be great. Hello? And if this is another telemarketing person, your phone will automatically blow up. Bernie, it's me. Is Amber there? Uh, is she supposed to be? No. Oh. Good. I thought I'd forgotten something. Well, she's late getting home from school, that's all. I thought she might have dropped around. It's 7.42. She hasn't dropped around in, uh, 12 days. Not that I'm counting. How late is she? Well, she's usually home by 6. Over an hour and a half. An hour and a half? Really? That's not very late, is it? It's just... She's so good at telling me where she'll be. Well, that's all. Uh-huh. The thing is, you know, I should have numbers for her, Bernie. Numbers of all her friends, where, where she could be reached. I'm sitting here, and I only have one number. Her best friend, Sue Johns. That's it. Why haven't I asked her to write down all her numbers? What's the matter with me? I don't have time to go into all that right now. Lighten up, will you? She's the most responsible 15-year-old kid I know. You still don't have call waiting, do you? Get off the phone in case she's trying to call you. <sighs> Tell you what, Sammy. Let's put on the coffee, okay? How's that? What? You still want to eat? What's the matter with you? Let's wait for Amber. She always feeds you. She'll be here any minute. Best of luck, okay? Hi. Amber? Peggy? It's Sue. Sue John's again? Oh, hi. Hi. Amber's still not home, I guess. No. She's not at any of our friends' places. No one's seen her. Oh, okay. It's almost eight. Yeah. Um, you know about Tyler, don't you? Tyler? Oh, I, it's just I thought Amber had said that she was... Oh, Tyler. Uh, yeah. Amber mentioned him a while back. She hasn't talked about him for a while, though. What? Do you think she's with him? No. I just called him. Oh. Uh, well, then... It's just... When I saw her after school around four, she said she was on her way to meet Tyler. But he says he didn't see her at all today. Oh? He works at this pizzeria during the week. 
He's there now. But if he hasn't seen her... It's just... He has some friends. They might have seen her. But he doesn't think so. I don't have their phone numbers to call myself. Tyler, he doesn't seem to want to call them. What are you saying? I think you should go see Tyler. Hi. The uh, guy at the front said, you're Tyler Craig? Yes. I'm Peggy Delaney, Amber's mom. Oh, hi. Miss Delaney. I'm looking for Amber. She hasn't come home. Yeah, I know. Sue Johns just called. Just a while ago. I guess that's how you found out where I... Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know where Amber is either. But Amber told Sue that she was going to meet you. I know. I don't get it. We didn't have any plans or anything. I thought she knew I had this dentist appointment. I told her a couple of days ago. And then I start work at six. You tell her about your dentist appointments? I told her about that one. I didn't realize you were such good friends these days. Well, I like Amber. She's great. Uh Uh-huh. Sue said you might have some friends she could be with. I just called them all. None of them are home. What I don't understand, Tyler, Sue said you didn't want to call them. It was just... Uh, I just didn't think Amber would be with them. They're older and like that. She doesn't really know them, you know? Mm Mm-hmm. Amber knows where I work. If she comes around, I'll make sure she calls you right away. Anyway, I should get these dishes back to the... When was the last time you saw her? Um, well, yesterday. Yesterday? She didn't mention anything out of the ordinary, like a, a friend she wanted to go and see, or some movie she wanted to go to, anything? Not really, no. She was talking about her dad. Her dad? Yeah, he lives in Vancouver, right? Yes. Ex-NHL player? North Stars. Canucks? (laughs) That's neat. I mean, that her dad was a hockey player. And that you're a columnist, of course. What was she saying? Oh, just all about him. You know, I guess he's a lot of fun sometimes. Just that she was missing him. I guess. Oh. Hello? Hi, it's me. You're not at home. No. And, uh, Amber's not home. No. Uh Uh-huh. Well, I was just wondering. So, uh, what are you doing driving around in the dark looking for her? Sort of. It's almost nine o'clock. Well... Nine o'clock. That's not like midnight. Uh, where are you headed now? Back to my place to check her closet. I think she might have gone back to Vancouver. I'll meet you at your place. The closet looks full to me. Uh, nothing missing? No, it doesn't look like it. I told you. I just hope she doesn't come in right now. You are going to look dumb. Dumb? Who's worrying about looking dumb? She has flown home because she's homesick for her dad. I'm going to kill myself. She wouldn't fly home and not tell you. That's crazy. Oh, I'm just scared, Bernie. She She's only like three hours late. Have you called the hospitals? The hospitals? I never thought of the hospital. Well, okay, don't, 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 no. no bad idea. Yeah, she could have had an accident. Highly unlikely. Uh, besides, they would have called you. She has ID on her, right? Your phone number. I don't know. I never asked her. Uh, so, um, so what's this Tyler guy like? He's 18. That's what he's like. He's way too old for her. Cute, I guess. Kind of, kind of nice. Uh, kind of smarmy. Smarmy? What does that mean exactly? It means I don't trust him exactly. Now that I think about it, Amber has been acting kind of, oh, I don't know, vague lately. Vague? Yeah. We were getting along really well. I mean, we were talking about everything, anything. It was great. Uh, Until the last couple of weeks. Well, teenagers, they're, they're moody. 
She's only 15. Oh, I know. It's funny, though. She used to talk about Tyler a lot. He dropped out of school for, for about a year. Um, but he's come back to finish up. He says he could see the writing on the wall. Hmm. Oh, yeah? What did it say? <sighs> dead-end jobs, dead-end life. Tyler says from the time he was about 12, all his friends ever did was look for trouble and get drunk. No kidding. Including him? I guess so. Um, but now he's he's going to school. He's working nights, trying to save up to go to community college. I think, you know, I just, I admire a person like that. Who's trying to turn things around. Don't you? Yes, I, I do. <laughs> he likes to talk. <laughs> I, I've never met too many guys who like to talk. Hmm. Sounds like a nice guy. He is. Maybe I wasn't really listening. Not listening close enough between the words. Well, Sue John said Amber was going to meet him today. He says he didn't see her. But they're such good buddies. Tyler even tells her about his dental. Bernie? What? Where's Tulip? Tulip? Tulip. Tulip is missing. Her stuffed bear. It's always right here, beside her bed. She's had it since she was two years old. She never travels anywhere without her bear. Detective Sabo, homicide. It's me. Hi. Hi. I've got a situation here, Carlos. What situation is that? Amber hasn't come home. I don't know where she is. And I'm petrified. Well, how long has she been missing? Oh, I don't know. Over three hours. Mm, three hours. Well, the standard police advice when teenagers are missing is wait 24 hours. They almost always show up before... Well, this isn't standard. This is Amber. This is my daughter. What would you like me to do? Could you check the passenger list on all the flights to Vancouver today? Probably since 4 o'clock. Well, but may maybe earlier, if her best friend's lying to me. You're kidding. No, I'm not. What makes you think she's gone home? Because... She's been talking to this boy about her father, about how much she misses him. And because I could see her getting on a plane without a change of clothes, but not without her stupid teddy bear. Her what? And because she's not here, and because I don't want to think about anything else. Anything else? I can't think about her being grabbed off the street by some, you know, some crazed sex freak. I can't think about it. Well, you don't have to, because that hasn't happened. Peggy, I'll check the passenger lists. Amber Lessing, right? Yes. L-E-S-S-I-N-G? Uh-huh. Now, just stay there. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Carlos is going to check the passenger lists. That's great. Yeah. What time is it now? Uh, quarter to ten. Oh, God, I feel like someone's kicked me in the stomach. Yeah, me too. Uh, that's what teenagers do. <laughs> they give you colitis. You could always call her dad. It's almost a five-hour flight. If she left after five o'clock, she'd just be getting there now. And if she left earlier, her father would have called me. Would he ever? I'm not going to call Butch and say, Guess what? I think our daughter's on a plane to Vancouver, but I'm not sure. She might be somewhere else. She might be anywhere. <laughs> I don't know where she is, and I only have one friend's phone number. There she is. Pick it up. Hello? Oh, hi. Is that Miss Delaney? Yes. It's Tyler. Is Amber there? <sighs> no. Oh, she's not home yet. No. Okay, then. Tyler? Wait. Tyler? Tell me a little about this kid we're going to see. I don't know anything about him. Why would I? I didn't ask enough questions. Well, he's our best lead anyway. Since Amber wasn't on any passenger list to Vancouver, maybe he knows more than he's saying. And maybe 
He just needs a little encouragement to tell you everything he knows. Hmm. So, where is this Roma pizzeria? It's just, uh, it's in the middle of the next block. Want to phone back to Bernie just to make sure Amber hasn't shown up at your place uh, before we talk to this kid? No, no. Bernie would have called me on my cell. Carlos, that's him. Who? Tyler Craig. There. See him? He just came out of the restaurant. He's getting into that taxi. Right, okay. Follow him? Yeah. What's he doing now? Trying the door. It's locked. He's coming back. Ah, looking up at that lighted window again. Above the store? Somebody's apartment's up there. But obviously not his. He doesn't have a key. So what are we going to do? Just sit here? Nope. I'll go get him. You didn't have to go call the cops. Carlos isn't a cop. He's a friend. I'm both. That's right. He's both. So, where's my daughter? I don't know. Oh, yes, you do. Look, son, we're asking for your help. That's all. And we're assuming you're a decent, helpful young man for the time being. I am. Why are you so interested in that apartment? Who lives up there? Tyler, please. I'm not sure where Amber is. I didn't see her today, just like I said, but... But? Jeannie Terry's mother lives up there. She goes away for weeks, travels to hotels all over the place. She's like an exotic dancer. What the hell has that got to do with me? There's this bunch of girls older than Amber. They can go kind of crazy sometimes. Pardon? Charmaine, one of them. Everyone calls her Charm. She and I... We've been hanging out together for, like, since we were 12. She thinks she owns me because we've been going together for so long. But I've been trying to tell her that I've got to get on with my life. I just don't want to keep hanging out with the same losers all my life. Getting wasted, stealing anything that's not nailed down, stupid shit like that. I want to get a life. But she won't listen. She doesn't get it at all. And she can go psycho. She scares me. Carlos... Jeannie Terry is like her lieutenant or something. Jeannie warned Amber to stay away from me a couple of weeks ago. But Amber, she... she wouldn't, so... Oh, my God. You think Amber's up there in that apartment? I've been calling Charm and everybody else all night. No one's home. If they were going to take Amber anywhere, this would be where. Carlos. But no one's answering the door. And it's locked. That's not a problem. Anyone is home. They're being awful quiet. There we go. I know where the light switch is. I'll turn it on. I'll uh, check the room at the back. There's a light on back here. I'll come with you. No. Stay there. Amber? Amber? It's okay. Looks like uh, no one's here. Place is empty. Oh, God. What a mess. Jeannie's mother hasn't been around for a while. You could get high just breathing the air in here. Carlos, what are you doing? Did you find anything? Uh, yeah, well, maybe. What? What is it? Let me see. No, don't bother. Uh, it's just a chair. A chair? Yeah, a chair in the middle of the kitchen. There's, uh... Strips of tape still stuck to it. And Peggy, there's some blood on the floor. You okay? What do you think? Just hang on. All right. Charm lives in this basement apartment. In her parents' house? Yeah. Her parents gave it to her when her grandma died. It was like a bargain, so she'd straighten out. Right. If you're Amber's friend, why didn't you do something? Why didn't you look after her? I tried. I told her. I warned her. Don't mess with Charm and her freaky gang. I said that. But... But what? 
that she was too young, too much in love to believe something might really happen? That you needed her to prove to Charm that you were changing and you didn't want her in your life anymore? That you were using Amber? No. I like Amber a lot. She's terrific. Oh. Yeah. I feel awful. I'm really sorry. Sorry? There was blood on the floor. Okay. Now, this isn't helping. 210 Evans Street. Is this the place? Yeah. There's lights on down in the basement. That's her car, too. She's home. Hey, Charm. Wow. Tyler. How are you? And, um, who are your friends? Where's Amber Lessing? Where's my daughter? I'm sorry, who? How about I break your neck? What? Uh, just hold it. Yeah, hold it. Lady, take a pill. Where is my daughter? I don't know. Jeannie, come here. What? Jeannie, these people are looking for someone called Amber something. Oh, yeah? Do you have any idea where she might be, Jeannie? Um, no. Gee. <laughs> Beats me. I don't know any Amber. See, we don't know any Amber. You know, Tyler might know an Amber. Why don't you ask Tyler? I still no luck. They're not saying anything. Uh huh. Thanks for going back to the car. It was either that or rip their eyeballs out. What are those cops you called in doing? They're going to take him downtown. We found a couple of pot stashes in the kitchen. Maybe once they're at the station, they'll talk. Where's Tyler? He's gone with a couple of cops, looking for the rest of the gang. Oh, God. I can't stand this. Peggy, that blood, it could be just something superficial. Just a... Yeah, hello? It's me. Sue Johns just called. Amber's at the East General Hospital. Well, what? What? How is she? They said I can see her in a minute. They said it's not too bad. Oh, good. That, that's good, isn't it? I guess it looks worse than it really was. Once they got her all cleaned up and everything. Yeah. She disguised her voice. Whoever it was called me. I don't know. I think it might have been Jeannie Terry. Anyway, she said they were going to dump Amber in the park near the school. And if I was Amber's friend, I'd better hurry over there. Or Amber might freeze to death. So you did? Uh-huh. At first I thought she was just sitting in the dark on this bench waiting for me. But she was taped to it with packing tape, and there was tape on her mouth and blood on her face. I nearly died. I ran to this house, and they called an ambulance, and I stayed with her. And when I got to the hospital, I called your place, and Bernie answered. You did good, Sue. You were a real good friend. <laughs> Sweetheart, hi. My nose is broken. I know. I was so stupid. Oh, no. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Sue tried to warn me about those girls, but I wouldn't listen. And Tyler? Did he warn you, too? I, he said Charm might not like it. Like what? Tyler and me. Tyler and me what? Mom, don't. That's what Charm was trying to make me say for hours. That you and Tyler were more than friends, you mean? Yeah. Yes. <sighs> okay. How did they catch you, anyway, if you'd been warned? Um, 
there was a note in my locker and well, I thought it was from Tyler. It said to meet him at our usual place and you know, I didn't think that anybody else knew where that was, but they did. And five of them jumped me and <clears throat> they stuffed me into this car and they took me to these rooms. They must have been spying on us this last couple of weeks. Uh huh. This last couple of weeks. Honey? What? I think I know the answer to this, but I'll ask it anyway. Where's Tulip? He's missing. I gave him to Tyler. So, even when I wasn't with him, I would still be with him. I feel so stupid. For what? Leading with your heart instead of your head? Who hasn't done that? You have been listening to Getting the Message. This week's episode of Peggy Delaney by James W. Nickel. Featured in the cast tonight, Kyra Harper is Peggy. Katarina Scarsoni is Amber. John Stalker is Bernie. George Buza is Carlos. Megan Toll as Sue Jobs. Mark Adrians as Tyler Craig. Heather Brown as Charm. Valesca Gonzalez as Jeannie Terry. The music was composed and conducted by Milan Kimlicka. The recording engineer was Drago Grandich. Sound effects were by Matt Wilcott. Colleen Woods was the associate producer. Our coordinating producer is Mary Morgan. The program was produced and directed in Toronto by Bill Howell, the executive producer of the Mystery Project.